program director for the opportunity. Um, as I have been introduced, I'm Nana Mlongo. Um, I'm responsible for research and policy within the CBE. And um, before I start with my presentation, I just want to um, uh, acknowledge and appreciate the opportunity from the leadership of the Black Business Council in the built environment. Um, uh, for, for coming to engage um, on the issues pertaining the 4IR and um, the impact on the built environment. And I just want to acknowledge my CEO. Um, I saw she's part of the panel, as well as to acknowledge um, the um, team from UJ um, of students led by Professor Musonda. Um, whom we worked together on this presentation. And this is one of the initiatives that we are seeking to um, promote when it comes to youth development as um, a, 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 when it comes to the issues of research. And I noted um, the, the CEO um, in his opening remarks this morning, um, making reference in terms of the importance of research and um, contribution to um, policy making. So it's it's one great um, approach that we need to build on. And I look forward to saying that this is just not a once off. We are going to collaborate and engage further um, with the Black Business Council um, in the built environment, not only to um, voice our concerns, but to come up with um, solutions especially from, from, from our youth. So um, a, my presentation is just really to um, provide um, some uh, perspectives in terms of some of the initiatives um, that are happening within the built environment, especially from a, a policy space. Um, the CBE is an entity of the Department of Public Works. And um, I noted even from the comments, there was such appetite in terms of engaging with, with the, uh, the department um, on policy issues. But um, I think then the collaboration going forward um, will take those things in, into consideration. But also as a matter of highlight um, in the policy space when it comes to the um, issues of 4IR in the, uh, in the country, the last week, um, I think Minister Ndabeni um, Abrams um, was hosting a colloquium that was um, a, a focusing on the draft data and cloud policy. And those are the platforms that we expect our youth, um, especially when it comes to built environment uh, matters, because the built environment sector is one of the key contributors um, into our economy. So we have that opportunity um, as the youth um, to make a meaningful contribution. And the previous speaker has really highlighted um, on the soft aspects that perhaps we, let, we, we pay less attention to, which is um, in terms of who we are and uh, where we are going and what do we want to achieve. And, and that is very, very critical in terms of us making the difference in the country, not only waiting for somebody to do things for us, but also to make um, uh, to measure ourselves in terms of the contribution that we make on a daily basis in the sector that we are in. So I will just go through um, this um, uh, my presentation. It's a short presentation, um, but some of the aspects I'm not going to dwell on. Um, they would have been um, highlighted in in, in 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 the previous discussions. Um, I'm not sure if my slides are moving. Okay, can you see my slides? Yes, we can. Oh, great, thank you. You know, when, when, when we become silent on these things, you, then you feel like, you know, you know, everyone has just deserted you. So um, thank you very much for that confirmation. So it's just um, the, the, the first slide, just looking into um, the 4IR, the definition, I think we've had um, a, quite a number um, to that effect. But in terms of where we are, um, a, the need that we, we, we have identified, we are not, a, as a country, um, a, especially even from the public sector of which um, a, we represent, 
um, as an entity of the department, um, uh, the productivity levels are low, um, uh, attributed to inaccuracy of designs, lack of expertise and management issues. Um, there's a lot of um, emergency, uh, emergency maintenance that needs to happen. Um, and there's heavily um, a reliance on a reactive maintenance. So we need um, then solutions that are going to um, a, 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 a capacitate us to be more proactive when it comes to infrastructure maintenance. But as well as in the space of um, education, um, as CBE, what we did um, when the discussions around the 4IR started was even um, uh, across the country, all the institutions that we, we that are providing built environment programs, we did a baseline in terms of how many of our institutions are really incorporating um, the aspects of 4IR in their, in, their, in their curriculum. So that is part of the research that we have been looking into so that then we can look into the current skill set, mainly um, uh, considering that the traditional um, skill set would be lacking um, that knowledge when it comes to um, uh, issues um, of technological advancement and autom automation. Uh, and the other aspect that um, really that um, we, we, we need to focus on, it's, it's delivery when it comes to infrastructure delivery. It's, it's one of the major issues that we are facing as a country. We have plans, we have budgets made available, but if you, uh, uh, what we get when, uh, at the end of the reporting that most of the projects could not be completed, which some fall even above um, 60% in terms of meeting costs, um, as well as um, a, a, a schedule um, in terms of targets. So that is an area of concern. I'm not going to dwell on this one. It's just um, indicating, um, I think even yesterday, there were some highlights in terms of where we come and where, 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 where we are going. I'm trying to put this, okay, there, there we go. Um, in, in terms of then the, the shift um, that we need to take as a country, you know, there are so many aspects that we need to look into. Um, we, we, we have a um, housing issue, um, we have so many community unrest um, that we are realizing in, as a country, and um, they are destructive because at the end of the day, um, public uh, properties are being destroyed. So we need to come up with solutions and the youth have um, got the most opportunity to come up with solutions in terms of saying, you know, in the communities where we come from, you know, we should be able to identify the, pro the, 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 the problems and then come up with solutions. So that those solutions that are being proposed are then going to enable our policy environment to be responsive and because they are going to make a meaningful contribution to those. But also in terms of saying, when we deliver infrastructure, how, you know, what, what do we need in order to be smart? Um, uh, we need uh, to be well equipped with the digital tools um, as well as sustainable processes because we don't want um, a, just the quick wins for the sake of um, a, a, for, for the sake of doing something, but we want something that um, is going to be sustainable um, in the long term. And also in terms of um, a, a, the technology, Full implementation as well as um, a process change from drawings to models, use, use of um, visualization, um, reality captures. Those, those are some of the things that perhaps we, we need to engage on and, and, and equip ourselves as young people in this country. So the, the, there's so many um, the, the examples that we, 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 can, we can look into, as well as integrated information management. Um, and uh, while um, the, the Department of Communications is um, advancing in terms of really um, uh, policies that are going to um, uh, guide us when it comes to information management, also within the built environment, we need to look into, into, in, in, into those aspects and um, so that there is timely information delivery as well as exchange in a common data environment to improve team collaboration and stakeholder participation. So we, we, uh, this should also promote where we are not only just um, observers, but we are participants 
um, in, in the whole value chain when it comes um, uh, to productivity. And the last as aspect is in terms of um, facility maintenance, costing and performance. You know, we need faster but safer processes that are going to uh, uh, give us a um, reduced life cycle cost. So part of um, then uh, the, 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 our presentation was to also to say, you know, um, as a country, we, we are a global player. So what is happening also in, uh, in the different aspects of the 4IR that have got an impact in the built environment. And we did a quick scan in terms of the countries, in terms of, um, you know, how they have developed those country strategies really to embrace and adopt uh, 4IR. We looked into India where they launched the transformational AI in 2018, which was tagged as all, um, all for all to address smart cities. So this is at a country level, um, uh, the United um, uh, Japan and Singapore. So it, it, it means also as a country, we need that um, a, a strategy and the contributions that we can make as young people um, in terms of our initiatives and the thinking and the, and the capability that we have, then should be able to contribute into saying as South Africa, this is where we are moving. So we should not be sitting and um, waiting for government because government is us um, in, in this in instance. So in terms of looking into the current um, initiative, some of these initiatives were highlighted um, by Prof um, this morning. Um, so we, we need to identify uh, a, a process and people needs in, in expertise and training, which is then the greater part of um, human capital development. So skills development is very important. Um, and um, I noted that Prof um, highlighted the issue to saying, you know, there's a misbalance between the private sector and the public sector. We need um, uh, then to be um, of the same alignment when it comes to the skills um, when, uh, for infrastructure de uh, uh, delivery, as well as management. Um, we need to identify um, a, a, a tech, um, the, the tech requirements and, and what are aspects um, uh, are required and have those resources available in terms of technological um, uh, advance, uh, advancement. And the other um, uh, area is that we, we, we need to have clear objectives. We need to define our goals. We need to set those objectives and, met and metrics and uh, uh, that are people focused. And that would also link to, 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 to the um, uh, previous speaker in terms of saying, really, we, we need to, 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 to be um, uh, people focused in, our, in our, uh, our, our approach. And then also our workflows, we need to re-strategize um, our workflows to accommodate changing careers and digital processes. So we cannot go business as usual um, in terms of our workflows. And that talks to even our, um, uh, whether we talk uh, in terms of procurement within the, the public sector, you know, what things do we need um, to take into consideration in, so that then we, we, can, in, we, uh, we can enable um, the digital processes to really make a contribution or enable us to deliver in terms of the, the goals that we have set uh, for ourselves. And lastly, then we need to cultivate um, ownership and it starts with you, it starts with me. Um, and it's not the waiting game in terms of saying somebody is going to do it. Um, so the important thing is that now we need to ask ourselves, especially as young people in the built environment space, to say if ever there is a gap, who is supposed to close that gap? So we must see ourselves as the players and own the problems that um, are facing our country and own the solutions that are, are going to um, a, 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 a need to, to be developed um, a, a, to, to, to that effect. So we, we really need to take um, um, a, 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 the, the consideration that um, artificial intelligence it has got an impact in terms of the built environment professionals. So we cannot go business as usual 
We need um, to build the 4IR capabilities through um, our curriculums in, in all the uh, built environment um, a, 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 a faculties. And um, it, we need um, uh, to have those innovative um, a, a technologies in the country available and um, a, 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 as well as assessment of implications of artificial um, intelligence in the built environment. The, the issue of um, a, a research is critical um, because then it will enable us to understand um, what are the issues even to benchmark with other countries because then we cannot really be a global player when we are left behind and we are not reflecting in terms of the countries that have advanced in the embrace um, of, a, of um, the uh, adoption of uh, built environment um, a, a technologies that the 4IR is presenting um, uh, to us. So um, in terms of then as a country, in terms of the, the, the initiatives, of course, um, within government, there, there is a lot of um, a policy direction, especially um, a, 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 in the, in, 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 within the communications um, department where then there is look into saying how then do we uh, because it, it has to be regulated at, at the end of the day, but then we need to influence in terms of saying those policies are enabling us, not making us um, a, a, to be stuck or to be a hindrance in terms of the initiatives that we can under, uh, undertake. We already have pronouncements in terms of um, a, a smart city project in South Africa. How then do we come up with ideas and contribute and not passively um, participate in the processes, but actively engage. And these are the issues that CPE would be looking into saying we champion. Um, we've already set up uh, in terms of collaborations with different institutions. We've signed MOUs to saying we want the research that is happening within um, the academic institutions to be of value um, on the policies that government is working on. So um, we also need to make sure that there is um, a, 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 you know, um, sufficient investment when it comes to fund a, 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 the issues of research and development and make sure that there is funding. But also we don't want to um, a, lose um, the, the essence that um, the, the, our academic institutions are bringing in terms of the knowledge uh, the wealth of knowledge uh, that is within the, the academic institutions. Um, uh, and then specifically um, within the um, academic space, um, we, we, we're proposing that there needs to be layers that are dedicated towards research um, um, uh, technology um, tools and service support, which um, ideally it's just um, software and hardware, because then if those resources are not available, then we are not going to be able really to um, equip our students. So we should be going forward producing relevant um, uh, graduates in the built environment that un first understand what the issues are in terms of uh, what is happening in the country, but also to saying they are well equipped um, with where the whole world is going so that then we can take the country forward. But also to stimulate uh, policy direction and private sector adoption of um, 4IR infrastructure training as well as support. And also we, we, we view the private sector as a key role player in terms of um, digital um, partnership. Um, where we have shared expertise instead of us versus them when it comes um, to, 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 to the 4IR expertise that are available in the private sector, but also as um, the, the technology acquisition, as well as um, a, um, support when it comes to internal reskilling um, uh, efforts or uh, among the, the, the different um, uh, sectors. So um, from specifically within the CBE, this is, um, the, these are the aspects that we are looking into. Um, uh, one other, at, at, at a lower level, we've also been engaging with um, the programs like the EPWP, which is seeking to saying um, we create um, opportunities for the youth um, uh, for employment. But, you know, um, we've done research to understand 
to saying, you know, if we go for IR as a sector, um, in terms of a, a, our technological advancement, where will then it bring, um, what would it bring to, to programs like the EPWP? So it means then there needs to be um, a, a policy shift in terms of how those programs are, are, are designed and also what they are targeting, not only to create employment opportunities, but also create employment um, a, a knowledge acquisition in the process and be able to equip um, the youth that participate even in such programs so that then at the end of the day, they can, um, if they exit the program, then they are knowledgeable in some aspects. And I think then the 4IR is giving us that um, opportunity. And that is the work that we have um, make, made a submission in terms of a policy advisory um, to the Minister of Public Works to saying those are the areas that we need to look into um, so that it's comprehensive. We're not only looking at um, a upper levels in terms of skills acquisitions, but also even at a, at a lower level in order to make a, contrib a meaningful contribution to the issues that are, are facing our country. So um, uh, overall, in terms of what then we um, are recommending, it's really collaborative efforts. And um, for me, when, when I looked at um, this platform that this summit is pre it's presenting, perhaps going forward, it would be even interesting when we have our youth um, coming to present and their own ideas, you know, and how then we, we can work together both as, um, a, a, as private and public sector, but also in terms of saying these are the ideas that can really make a, 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 our, our, our sector to continue in, in, in a sustainable manner to make um, a, 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 an economic contribution to our country. Training, of course, is very um, important across the sectors, um, a, a, whether in the academia, um, uh, we need to be in a, a, at a point where when we are talking um, certain uh, technological aspects, we not, not to be saying we are short of lecturers um, within the institutions. We need not to talk about the shortage of equipment, but also within the public sector, we need um, a, 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 to, to train um, a, the officials when it comes to these technological advancement um, a programs, because we cannot have um, a, our professionals with the knowledge, but then we find that within um, the, 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 the custodians of um, infrastructure projects, they, there is lack of understanding, um, but also to develop digital frameworks to support government plans as well as strategies. And lastly, to ensure digital opportunities exist and establish um, a learning um, a ecosystems. So that would be it um, from my side, but also really um, I would want um, um, to challenge our youth um, to come up with solutions um, and ideas um, uh, that, can, that we can begin to engage on. And as CBE, that is one area that um, we are available um, to engage um, a, a, a through, through the council so that then we can, we can make um, a, 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 a meaningful contribution to our country. I believe um, the time where we should stand on the, on the streets with our placards um, has ended. Now we have the, uh, the, the, the opportunity that we can make our voices heard, we can make um, our ideas um, uh, visible and make a difference in our own communities. Thank you very much. Thank you.